Take your Quest 3 games from looking like this to this at the flick of a switch. Wow, that's pretty good. And I'll show you everything you need to know to give a massive graphics boost to your Quest 3 standalone games. First, you'll need developer mode turned on, but don't worry, it's super easy to do. Just go to the Oculus Developer Hub page, I've left a link for it below. Make sure you're logged into the same account that you use on your Quest 3 and then click on the Org Manager dropdown. Hit Create, give it a name and check the I Understand box, then Submit. Almost done, now open the MetaQuest app on your phone, go to the headset settings, developer mode and toggle the debug mode to on. Congrats, you're now an official Quest developer, so give yourself a high five. High five! Now head over to itch.io and get yourself a copy of the Quest Games Optimizer, because this magical piece of software will allow you to turn on beast mode on your Quest 3. It's 10 bucks, but trust me, it's totally worth it and can help you boost graphics, optimize battery life and much more, but we'll get into that later. Next up, you'll need a PC or laptop for a one-time setup. Now install either SideQuest or the MetaQuest Developer Hub. I'll personally be using the Dev Hub for this tutorial, but I've left links to both SideQuest and the Developer Hub below to make it easy for you to get either one. You should have gotten a Quest Games Optimizer APK file from itch.io, so connect your Quest 3 to the PC using a cable that supports data transfer and hit allow on the pop-up inside the headset. It's blacked out in recordings, but it'll be right here. Simply drag and drop the APK file onto the window and then toggle the ADB over Wi-Fi option. Now you can disconnect the cable and move on to the last step, installing the games optimizer. Put on your headset and go to your applications and use this dropdown to navigate to unknown sources. You should see the app here, just click on it and you will get exactly 4 pop-ups during the installation process. Just make sure to hit allow on all of them and we're ready to unlock the ultimate clarity and graphics boost on your Quest 3. But speaking of clarity, if you wear glasses then you might want to consider some Quest 3 prescription lenses from this video sponsor, VR Wave. They'll be running a Black Friday campaign on the 24th that gives you 10% off, which is exactly how much you need for Quest Games Optimizer. So absolutely perfect fit for the topic of this video. The lenses attach magnetically and are customized to your required prescription, so go check them out at the link in the description. Now let's continue with how to configure the Quest Games Optimizer on your Quest 3 and I promise you'll be blown away by the difference in quality. Okay, so once you've put in the email address used on itch.io, you'll be greeted with this page showing you all the games you currently have installed. And if you go to the top right menu here, you'll see that the developer has made optimized profiles for over 500 games. There are a ton and your favorites are almost guaranteed to be on this list with a few small exceptions. Now let's talk about profiles and first of all I'll show you what each icon means. You can find these by clicking the yellow question mark on the Quest Games Optimizer homepage. But basically the three important ones are this battery icon, which indicates a profile optimized for saving battery life. The rocket icon means increased frame rate, while the HD and HD Plus are profiles meant to increase the visual quality while also maintaining a smooth frame rate. That being said, you can create your own profiles if you want to and of course feel free to play around with them. I'd personally recommend you stick with the profiles created by the developer as he's put in a crazy amount of time to make sure all of these are well optimized and don't cause any issues. Finally, before I show you some before and after shots of games, in general settings, you can tweak a bunch of things like how to start QGO. You can have a quick shortcut for it by putting in the name of an icon here, like profile, notifications, etc. Then when you hover over that icon for a second or two, it will start the Quest Games Optimizer. Here you'll also find a series of other cosmetic settings. Alrighty, time to see what this piece of software can do and test it out in some games. I've recorded a bunch of before and after footage to show you. But first, have you noticed the cool new YouTube animation when you press the like and subscribe buttons? Give it a try. Okay, so we'll start with Demio, which looks great on Quest 3 even by default with nice lighting, textures and effects. The game looks fairly clear for a native Quest title, but I think we can do better. I've played a bit of this dungeon in single player mode to get a gauge of things before using the Quest Games Optimizer to turn this up to 11. Let's turn on the HD Plus profile. If we look at this beginning shot of the characters, this is before and this is after. I mean wow, the difference is striking and honestly I still feel it doesn't fully translate to the recording but in headset it's extremely noticeable. This continues to amaze me as I play a bit of the dungeon because everything from the board itself to the characters, effects and even the room around looks much much sharper. I've increased the resolution manually using SideQuest before but many times it started causing performance issues. With QGO, it looks and performs great. 
Now we'll have a look at Contractors, which admittedly is not one of the best looking games on Quest. And you can see in the before shots here that the weapons are kinda blurry, the environment in the distance is not super sharp, and the overall atmosphere is okay, but this is one of the games where increasing the resolution can really make a difference. Again, I went with the HD Plus profile, but since it's an FPS game, going with the frame rate increase might also be a good idea. Anyway, this is what the game looked like before QGO, and this is what it looks like now. An obvious increase in sharpness across the board, and the same as Demio, no noticeable degradation of frame rate. Seeing this genuinely makes me wonder why the developers don't push the Quest 3 further when it comes to graphics, but I guess it's still fairly new, so they haven't yet fully discovered all it can do. Moving on to a newer title, Stride Fates. The game already looks good, and I've gotta say the mechanics are awesome, so if you've enjoyed the first Stride, you need to get Fates. But back to the topic at hand, the edges of objects and the environments do look a tiny bit blurry, so I'm hoping we can fix that with the game's optimizer. I'm not sure if it's because the game is still new or if there isn't enough horsepower to push it further, but we only have an HD profile, not the HD Plus for this one. Let's turn it on and start with the first part of the tutorial here. This is what it looks like by default, and this is with the HD profile active. It's not as massive of a difference as the other two, but still very noticeable in the headset, and I hope it shows in the recording as well. If you're watching this on a phone, it might not be as obvious, but I promise you, you can see the difference in the headset. Now, I was curious to see what this software could do for a more cartoonish game, so I tried Walkabout Mini Golf. Obviously, this game is meant for relaxation and chilling with friends, and the visuals were never something amazing so it's gonna be interesting to see if a resolution increase will actually do anything. It's still one of my favorite games, but let's be honest, from a graphics standpoint, it's kinda meh. Turning on the HD Plus profile here, again, QGO surprised me. Here's where we started, and now with the resolution bump. Due to the blockier graphics, I can't say the difference is completely night and day, but it is more than noticeable, and it's literally the flick of a switch away. It's also important to note that you do have the option to tweak things yourself as I showed you earlier, so for a game like Walkabout it might be worth lowering the refresh rate as it's fairly slow paced and trying to increase the resolution even further. It's incredible to me that this was developed by one single guy and Anagan if you're watching this thank you for the insane amount of work you must have put into this. Now if you want to push your Quest 3 even further and make sure you have the best settings you should really watch this video next. Or if you want to dramatically increase the clarity when using the Quest 3 with a gaming PC, then this one might be a better choice. I hope you found this useful, leave any questions in the comments below and I'll catch you soon. Cheers guys!